Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to work here and um, want to go ahead and read before we start the day. We're in Matthew 14, but I'm going to go ahead and push through uh, Matthew 15 as well. So we'll be reading 14 and 15. As always, thank you for joining. Let me just open up in a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for being in our lives. And I ask that you guide us today. May we invite you in every part of our life. May we make you a priority and put you first, Lord. May we do better than yesterday. May you be in this reading, Lord. May it be your message that is heard and your voice and not my own, Lord. I thank you that wherever two or three or more are gathered in your name, you are there. So I ask that you hear our prayers, our petitions of our heart, whatever it is that's weighing us down, Lord. As we put them at your feet, we bring them to you. We thank you and we praise you. Oh Lord, I forget to ask you, please steady our hearts and minds so that we can receive and understand your word. And I pray one day share it. Amen. Okay. I <laughs> just, I didn't want to think too much about what to pray for. So, sorry. <laughs> John the Baptist beheaded. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard the report about Jesus and said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead. And therefore these powers are at work in him. For Herod had laid hold of John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Her Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And although he wanted to, <clears throat> he wanted to put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him as a prophet. So you see, John the Baptist is the one who baptized Jesus. Um, and then Jesus baptizes in spirit. John the Baptist was baptized in water. But see, King Herod wanted to put him to death, but didn't because of what the people believed of John the Baptist. So instead he bounds him and he throws him in prison. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's because it's, I'm running, getting ready, so. <laughs> but when Herod's birthday was celebrated, the daughter of Herodias stands before him and pleased Herod. Therefore he promised, he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. So she, having been prompted by her mother said give me john the baptist's head here on a platter and the king was sorry nevertheless because of the oaths and because of those who sat with him he commanded it to be given to her so he sent and had john beheaded in prison and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl and she brought it to her mother then his disciples came and took away the body and buried it and went and told jesus feeding the five thousand when Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the multitudes heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude. And he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. When it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, This is a deserted place and their hour is already late. Send the multitudes away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, They do not need to go away you give them something to eat and they said to him we have here only five loaves and two fish he said bring them be here to me then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass and he took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples and the disciples gave the multitudes so they all ate and were filled and they took up 12 baskets full of fragments that remained so there were still leftovers from these five loaves of bread and two fish. Now those who had eaten were about 5,000 men besides women and children. <clears throat> I hate doing that. <laughs> Jesus walks on the seed. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary, heavy seas. Now on the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried, they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. 
And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. I think it's uh, something else that they see all these miracles and still there's doubt in there. One miracle after another. But So they say, Truly, you are the Son of God. Many touch him and are made well. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gennesaret. Gennesaret, I think you say it. And when the men of the place recognized him, they sent out into all the surrounding regions, brought to him all who were sick, and begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And and um, as many as touched it were made perfectly well. So their faith made them well by touching Je Jesus' garment. Defilement comes from within. 15. Then the scribes of the Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus, saying, Why do your disciples transgress the truth? the tradition of the elders, for they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. He answered and said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandments of God because of your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother, and he who curses his father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, Whoever says to his father or mother, <clears throat> Whatever profit you might have received from me is a gift of God, then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Hypocrites, well, did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. When he had called, So he's just pointing out to them their errors and using an example of honoring their mother and father, and then the heart not being in place, even though they, they honor and repeat the commandments by mouth. When he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand, <clears throat> not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth defiles the man. Then his disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard the saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into a ditch talking of the Pharisees. Then Peter answered and said to him, explain the parable to us. So Jesus said, are you still without understanding? Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceeded out of the mouth from the heart and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat, with unwashed hands does not defile a man. So he's explaining back to, uh, to them what uh, the Pharisees have said and how they are wrong. A Gentile shows her faith. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Mijo, stop that. I need a light. Jesus heals great multitudes. Jesus departed from there, skirted the Sea of Galilee, and went up on the mountain and sat down there. Then great multitudes came to him, saying, Sorry. Then great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others, and they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. So the multitudes marveled when they saw the name, I'm sorry, they marveled when they saw the mute speaking, the name made whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. Eli, can you let me read? I don't want to argue, with, especially I'm recording. <laughs> 
feeding the 4,000. Now Jesus called his disciples to himself and said, I have compassion on the multitudes because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat. And I do not want to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. Then his disciples said to him, Where could we get enough bread in the wilderness to fill such a great multitude? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? And they said, Seven, and a few little fish. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves and the fish, and gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples, and the disciples gave to the multitude. So they all ate and were filled, and they took up seven large baskets full of fragments that were left. Now those who ate were 4,000 men besides women and children, and he sent away the multitude, got into the boat, and came to the region of Magdala. That was 14 and 15. As always, I hope you uh, received the message. I know I did. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.